guys, welcome back. So today I wanted to show you kind of me creating a couple sims for the Oregon Trail challenge. In particular, this is Buster and Bessie Claville. They are from The Sims 3. Their kind of whole story is their son, Xander, still lives at home. Dad does not want him there. He wants him out of the nest. Mom's a pushover. That's kind of where we're at. Uh, so I don't really know how I'm going to change that story for the Oregon Trail Challenge because it really wouldn't have been unusual for him to live at home because he was not married or he is not married. So I'm gonna have to find another way for him to be a failure, uh, <laughs> which I'm excited about. I'm very excited about. Now, Bessie, she had, I wanted to make sure her face was pretty open, you know, that it reflected that she was just kind of a bit naive, very kind, clearly taken advantage of by everybody and their mother. Like <laughs> That was the goal here. And I really think I achieved close interpretation of her features. What was interesting is her um, like eyelids didn't seem like, because I'm mostly basing the, bleh, mostly basing these off the Sims wiki and it just seems like her eyelids on one side were just kind of down. Which I think I got for the most part. And she had I mean, again at the end of the day they're all pretty puddingy so it was kind of hard, but she had kind of a cute face, and I think I got as close as it's possible to get in The Sims 2 with her. I really like her nose as well. Although I've realized, now that I went back and I've made Sims in my medieval like folders, some of my sliders are not in this um, limited CC folder, which is weird because I moved my sliders folder, which means that I was a dum-dum and I definitely installed something in a weird folder again. This is why I can never share CC because I have no idea where any of it is. It's all just in there and it's being chaotic and it's, it's a problem. So yeah, and some of those sliders would have helped me in some of my sim recreations in the past couple of days, but it's okay, it's okay, it's fine. Now, I think she turned out pretty cute. I didn't want to give her a ton of wrinkles, but I did want her to seem like a little bit worried. I don't know what their son could be doing that would like be making them unhappy unless like, I like the idea of him being just kind of a spendthrift where he's not really doing anything to bring money in. He's just kind of spending the family money and now they're kind of hitting hard times because Xander's not taking up his responsibilities as like the next head of the family. He's just not interested at all. He's not even interested in getting married. And so I like that idea. I also like, really liked this hair on her. I think it fit. I did struggle for a dress for her. Cause she like it showed in the wiki that she liked the color yellow. And so I decided to actually go with these separates cause I felt like that worked for an older female Sim. It looks really nice. And then just like the purple, it's cute. All right, up next we have Buster. Um, I can't really remember anything off the top of my head about Buster. Something tells me he's grouchy and probably with good reason, but he's also a little mean to his wife and we we don't like that. We don't appreciate that. I do wish he had like dark, dark blue eyes. I really need to sit down one day and just like actually make the colors that I'm missing from the YSIM set because I really love that set. I think it's beautiful. But there's just some colors that I would I would like to have. Now Buster's nose is the most frustrating thing on the planet. I did my best. I'm still not 100% satisfied with it, but I tried. I did decide to make him overweight because I, I think the idea that I don't really know what their background's gonna be. Maybe they ran a ranch or something like that, but like he was a hardworking dude. He was really physical all the time, so he stayed in shape, but now that he's not, this it's pretty common too. Like once you retire, a lot of people in those physical jobs gain a little bit of weight and there's nothing wrong with that, but that's where I was going with my choices here. His face was so hard and there was a part of his face that was just like really far out and kind of like angular in a way that Sims 2 sometimes gets. I should have started off with a different template, but I thought that this was a good base for him and I regret that. 
I definitely regret that. But yeah, he just is a grumpy old man. That's more or less what he is. And he had kind of downturned eyes as well, which is like narrow. But again, just like he was very pudding-y, like even though he's meant to be an elder, like he just didn't even look that old. So I, it was up to me to kind of add that. I did struggle a bit with like the facial hair though, because for whatever reason, the facial hair that I installed, I would select one and it would select four. So like I couldn't select shades. It was being weird. That's probably just my game being wonky. I'm curious what Xander's gonna look like though, because I'm actually gonna have him created in the game. I know for Sandy and River, I made them based on their mothers, but in this case, I have both parents, so I might as well use both parents. Which, it can work out fine or it can work out not fine, just depending on how Sims 2 is feeling. But thankfully, we will have, we'll be in Create a Sims, so it's not like it could throw a super bad curveball at me that I have to accept. Unless every single one of Buster's kits looks janky and then we'll figure it out <laughs> yeah he did have like a very large nose but like bulby but not i don't know i don't know how to describe it i've been making so many sims today because i want to have all these sims i want to actually play this challenge on monday for the next stream and that means i need to make all of these sims and i need to get the neighborhood set up and i need to like it's go time so i'm trying to make one wagon a day because I have I think seven total wagons and then that also gives me time to update their lots as I add them kind of thing and I also need to uh, just note to self I need to download new default roads and I need to default something else and I need to download rivers I also need to figure out how to place those rivers because there's rivers on mod the sims but like Every time I've placed them, they just kind of spread all over the place. I've seen some people put rocks next to them though, and that seems to contain them, so I might try that. I don't know. We shall see. If I have to create a fake river lot, I will. <laughs> but I would prefer not to, because that's hard. Yeah, I didn't really want to give him hair, but then I was getting frustrated because like, again, the facial hair, I couldn't change the colors. So it's just like, err. So I went back and I gave him that one, which does match what he had, but I really don't have a ton of elder clothes. So I might need to do some quick recolors just to get me through, but I don't have as many as I would like. Cause like he liked the color blue, but then I didn't really have a ton of those. So I put in this short pan looking thing and yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you like this video, definitely give it a like and I will see you in the next one.